So what are we doing here today, Emily? We're checking on bull snakes because yeah. they're due to lay eggs soon. All our snakes are due to lay eggs. Yeah, soon. the hog knows. I checked the hogs. There aren't any eggs with hogs, but we figured we'd film going through bull snakes. Let's see, not you. Yeah, we're filming a Mother's Day video today, but yeah. Okay, there aren't any over here. The yeah. xanthic didn't have babies. Or didn't have eggs. Hey, xanthic, do you have eggies? Oh, not yet, but you're close. You're really big. How about Brad? Brad's Brad, soon. did she do her pre-lay shed? She just pre-lay shed. Okay. Oh, well, she's on top, so. Yep, you didn't lay your yep, eggs she yet. She didn't okay. lay her eggs yet. <laughs> How about Ghost? Is also due soon. She just went, no, she's just about to do her pre-lay shed. Oh, there's her pre-lay okay, shed. Okay, so she's just about to lay eggs. Well, we've got about six, seven, eight okay, days. Okay, is that about it? Yeah, seven to ten days after the pre-lay shed. All right, what about Priscilla? Priscilla, we have any eggs? Oh, what she's not, you? she's not in here. Lay back, oh. so I'm guessing she didn't yeah. lay eggs. Nope. No, no eggs. Right, well, Hannah's the last one? Yeah, there's one more. Just Hannah. Hey. <gasps> Is there something in there? I can see one. <gasps> well, I guess we're filming uh, uh, two videos today. Hannah has eggs! Okay, we're back from filming the Mother's Day video, which we were planning on filming today, not planning on filming this one today, but I we've got eggs. So yeah. let's uh, film an egg video spontaneously. I wouldn't have guessed that Hannah would be the first one to no, lay this year. Would I. Hannah. See, now that she has flowers. Yeah, oh that's why she has flowers, yeah. Yep. It was from the Mother's Day yep. video. <laughs> which is perfect timing. I'll move your flowers here so you can still enjoy them later. But let's just take this whole thing out with Hannah in it. Yep, I'll just shut that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hannah. Oh my gosh. You look you look so skinny. She does. Look at that little the but point. Yet she ate for us. Yeah, she ate already. Yeah, we gave her a jumbo mouse for the Mother's Day video and she took it, so she's feeling good. All the eggs look to be pushed out, which so one, is that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15. 15. Usually the first year is a little bit less, and then the second, third, fourth year, or it like builds. 14, sorry, I counted one. Well, we'll see. There might be some more buried in yeah. there, too. First, just... let's get her out. I'm hoping that there's nothing here. <laughs> That's oh. her jumbo mouse. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, how are we going to get you out? You're right, underneath. I'll lift this side. Don't I'll let her bite her me. Okay. All right, now we can just take her back. She has a little lump right here. That's from a jumbo mouse. We just fed her for the okay. Mother's Day video. It's not an egg, don't worry. She's just so much smaller now. A jumbo mouse is all it takes yeah. to show inside of her. Should we put you back? Okay, let's put you back. Good job, Mama. So before we count all the eggs and set them up, uh, we have to get ready for perlite. We haven't done this yet this year. No. Oh, how exciting to, is we this? We have to remember how to do it. Yeah, so we're gonna mix in perlite and water. I figure we'll actually go through the steps this year because yeah. it's the first one of the year. We'll get, eh, that should be enough, maybe. We'll do a little bit more. Yeah. There you go. There we go, perlite. Gonna mix in dechlorinated water. We kind of eyeball it at first. Then we're gonna mix it all together. If you look down here, you'll see that I added too much water, so we don't want that much moisture in the perlite. But the, everything on top seems to be a good consistency, because if I squeeze it, water doesn't drip below it, but it still maintains its shape. It clumps really well. So I think what I'll do, since I added a little too much water, is I'm just gonna take everything out separately to leave that pooled water behind. So we'll scrape it off from the top. Now I'm gonna make, how many did you count? 14? I counted 14. Okay, well I'll make 14 divots. Now the exciting part. Wait, I'm gonna rinse off my hand first. I guess we'll just take these and set them all up. First egg. What kind of design are we going to draw on the top instead of an X? Well, I mean, we are, uh, what day is it today? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're four days away from Mother's Day. We could do flowers. Oh, we could do flowers. That's such a good idea. Okay, these are all clumped together. Hopefully they're not too stuck. I think I can peel them apart. There we go. All right. Oh, the anxiety. I know. Oh, it's stressful every time. All right, looks like the next easiest one is going to be this guy. Oh, yeah, that one's... Yeah, that nothing. was easy. <laughs> All of these eggs look amazing, though. It's like the kid who wanted to be included, but not really. Yeah. Look at how long that egg is. Yeah. You're a long boy. There you go. And I'm trying to maintain the same orientation from where they were sitting in here 
to when I transfer them into the incubation tray. So we'll take you off, but it was sitting like this. So I'm gonna rotate it, keep that same side up. It's not as huge of an issue right now because the embryo doesn't stick to the side of the egg until about 24 hours after it was laid, but it's still, I don't know, better well, safe than sorry. Wasn't there a study that they like oh. took eggs and flipped them around and did all sorts of things and- Yeah, I think it was with corn snake eggs or something. Yeah. yeah, they took them and then like after 24 hours, they flipped them upside down. Most of them still hatched anyway. Yeah, maybe we'll try and find and link. Yeah, it was, it was a really interesting study and it actually showed that if they rotate a little, it's actually gonna be fine most likely, yeah. but it doesn't hurt to try to keep the same orientation either. So these also the same thing with the idea of actually separating them isn't really that big of a deal because the eggs will not mold. That's true. We kind of ran an experiment last year where we had a bad egg connected to a good egg and we let them sit throughout incubation and the good egg was never affected by the bad one. So it seems like it's not as important to separate them, but I guess we're just so used to it at this point. Yep. I don't know, should I leave it? A couple of these are going to be so stuck together that I don't think that I'll be able- That one's going to be too tall. Yeah, that's true. It wouldn't so, fit. You could leave those two stuck Yeah, together, let's though. leave these two. Now that we know it's like not as big of a They'll deal. They'll be our twins. Yeah, here we go. Those two can stay next to each yeah. other. Oh boy. Who am I going to take apart here? I think I'll do you. Oh, yeah, I missed it. You missed it. I missed it. Oddly satisfying moment of the day. Or most stressful moment of the day. Yeah, really. Okay, they're nestled in. And the last two. There. Oh, we've got so many buddies. So yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, 14. good There's eggs. Nothing else in there. Are there any others? Did she bury some eggs? Uh, nope. She put them all in one clump. Perfect. Nice and convenient. Not a single slug either. Yeah. All those eggs look beautiful. So we can't even give you an example of what a slug or infertile egg looks like. I'm sure we'll have the opportunity okay. with another clutch this summer. We'll talk about it then, but all of these eggs are pearly white. They look amazing. Do you so, want to grab dad? Dad? Ooh. We'll show dad. Yeah, let's show dad. Right this is why we're so excited for this clutch. This is Stripey. He and Hannah were both hatched out of the same clutch and they were the first uh, clutch of bull snakes or snakes at all that we have ever produced and ha uh, Stripey here hatched out with these really cool stripes down the sides of his belly like almost complete stripes They're not totally complete all the way down, but they're I've never seen that before really in a bull snake If it is genetic it might pass down depending on what kind of gene it is We might see this stripe in some of these babies, but we might not so we're it's still in the learning phase of yeah. What this is it might not be genetic at all. It might just be unique to Stripey, but it's still really pretty. So that's why we held back Stripey and his sisters because it sounds weird, but it's actually not a big deal at all for sibling snakes to breed. So yeah, we're just gonna see if it's uh, something that can be passed down. Stripey, look, these are your babies. Wait, You're gonna be a dad. Can I eat them? Yeah, you can't eat those. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. They're not, not, not treats, but they're your babies. They're gonna hatch in about 55 days. You excited? You excited? He's like, just give me food. Yeah, just put me back and give me food. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Oh. I'm a deadbeat dad. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool though if these babies had stripes? That would be amazing. Oh my gosh, if they all hatched out like this. Yeah. They won't, they won't all hatch out like this. No. And chances are none of them will hatch out like yeah, this. Yeah, we just had to try. Yeah, it's worth a shot because with new morphs with snakes, you've got to try it and risk it and see what happens. Okay, now for the fun part. We have to mark the top or uppermost part of the egg so that we know which way is up in case halfway through incubation something happens, one of them rolls or heaven forbid the tray tips or something. Or you carry them and drop them all. You never We've know. Heard very bad stories about that kind we of thing. have heard horror stories. And I can't imagine having that walking it someplace and dropping it. Oh, that would be terrible. Yes. But that's why we mark the top part of the egg so yes. that we know what side is up if you have to set them back up for whatever reason. So instead of doing just like a line or an X like we've done in the past, that's, I don't know, not, not very exciting. So we do different designs nowadays, as some of you already know. And I think this clutch's theme is gonna be flowers. So we'll do like a daisy. Emily just likes doing this because she's kind of artistic. Not really. That's better than me. I guess you wouldn't even look close to that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to draw all these upside down too. I've never drawn flowers really before, so excuse me if this- I can only think of like three flowers. I know, same and here. And you've done two of the flowers. Now all you have to do is a dandelion and we're good. I think that's a tulip. Yeah, it looks like a tulip to me. Kind of. I should probably put a stem on that though. I could do- A rose. I know roses too. Uh, 
I can't do a rose upside down. I used to do roses at Cookies by Design. Actually, I don't know how to draw a rose. What is that? A bird? <laughs> Not a rose, that's for is sure. It a snail? <laughs> no, it was supposed to be a rose. It's a snail. It with starts a bunch with of butts. the swirl, and I don't. That's that's a snail flower, sure. A buddy snail flower. <laughs> I don't know what that would be called. It was supposed to be a rose. You gotta do a dandelion. Oh, a dandelion. Okay. I also don't know how to draw a dandelion. Perfect. That's a dandelion. Now, now draw the evolved form of dandelion. Oh, I could do that. <laughs> I'm glad you knew what I meant. Now you gotta draw a dead dandelion. A dead dandelion? Right after, after the fuzz is all gone. Oh, I see. There. <laughs> <laughs> um, what other flower? What's another there? flower? Oh, there's like a dragon snap. Oh, the snapdragon? Yeah, snapdragon. Uh, hang on. I need to cheat. Where's my phone? I'm just now learning. I don't know what flowers look like. <laughs> These are all we know of flowers and snail butts. That's my snapdragon. Sna snapdragon. Perfect. I mean, we did give carnations to everybody today. Oh, well, that's true. Perfect. That's my carnation. You should do a uh, pitcher plant and then a Venus flytrap. Okay, here's my pitcher plant. Wait a minute. That's a Pokemon. Victory Bell's the only pitcher plant I know how to draw. <laughs> There's our pitcher plant. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I do a Venus flytrap on that one. <laughs> Perfect. That's a like Venus. A closed eyeball. <laughs> that's my Venus flytrap. <laughs> oh, it's just a daisy, right? Nope. Sunflower. Oh. Okay. Draw draw a lily pad with a flower. <laughs> there. There's my lily pad around it. Perfect. That's a lily pad. Yeah. Okay. Last flower. Okay. Here's our last flower. See if you can guess what it is. It's a Pikachu. <laughs> nope. It is a Pokemon though. So glad I'm not the one who does this. I'm not very good myself. There, it's Roselia. She legs though. There. There you go. Roselia. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And there's our flower there's clutch. There's our flower clutch. I like the closed eyeball and the snail butts. I'm gonna make this one a little more realistic. Now it's the potted piranha plant from Mario Kart. Yeah. Perfect. What was snail butts supposed to be over here? <laughs> it's supposed to be a rose. Oh. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now hey. what are we gonna do? We don't uh, have an incubator here yet. We do not have an incubator here, so I'm going to cover this up, write down the date. Gonna write down the parents. It's 5-5 five, five today. Hannah and Stripey are the parents, and that means these are due end of June. Yep. Yeah. Wow, that's gonna be an early flush. Ooh, end of June. Yeah, we never have babies in June, do no. we? Well, we're going to bring these home and incubate them in our green tree python room because that's a heated room and it's what we've been using to incubate our eggs for quite a few years now. We're eventually going to have an incubator here at the facility, but we don't have that yet. So yeah. we're just gonna do one more year incubating at home. So we'll see you at home. Hooray, eggs. Well, we are back home and these little eggies have been through about a half an hour car ride, which shouldn't bother them at all because eggs actually travel pretty well, snake eggs do anyway. But here's one last look while they're still eggs and not babies. Oh, the flower clutch. They're so cute. Well, now we have babies on the way. We're gonna incubate them again in our green tree python room and you'll see them in about 55 days. Yep. So thanks again, everybody, for watching today's video. And thank you to our Patreon backers for your very generous support, as always. I'm so excited because you know what this means. It means baby season started. Baby season has officially begun.